Hello, cinema peeps. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it is a marvelous Tuesday. Yes, it is actually quite wonderful outside. It's been a little, uh, little on the blustery side. Blustery day. Yeah, it's quite Winnie windy. Pooh and Piglet too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I think it's finally cooling down a little bit. So, yes, you know, autumn might be coming. Mm-hmm. I feel the problem, though, maybe this is just an Alberta problem, but I feel like in Canada, maybe in Canada in general, I feel like summer happens, right? And it kind of mm-hmm. stretches into September and then boom, snow hits. Yeah. Like we don't really get a fall. Like I see all these memes where it's like, oh, white girls love fall so much. And I'm like, where is this fall you speak of? <laughs> right. It happens like for maybe a day. Right? Maybe two if we're lucky. And then Ooh, it's yeah. just... Pfft. Right? All the leaves are gone and it's brown. You're like, oh, okay. Cool. Or there's the odd magical time where it's like, we get a couple of days of fall, then we get a week's worth of snow, and then we get another week of fall because <laughs> all the snow melted, and then we get winter. <laughs> right? Just to add some confusion. Yeah, you gotta keep us on our toes, you know? That's like, there's a meme I saw somewhere on Facebook where someone was like, welcome to Alberta. 7 a.m. winter. <laughs> uh, 9 a.m. fall. Uh, noon is spring and 4 p.m. is summer. Dress accordingly. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, yep, that makes sense. 100%. It's ridiculous. I just know I feel like maybe maybe you had similar experience. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I always knew usually our first snowfall almost always happened on October yes. or like, sorry, like near Halloween. Oh yeah, usually it does. So like there was no such thing as like wear a cute, sexy costume. It was oh my God. wear your <laughs> snow pants and snow jacket. So your costume had to be like over top of that. So I have many pictures of me from Halloween where it's like, yeah, my cot, like I have like, this Batman it's like a cape and like small chest piece Mm -hmm. and and it's over top of like a big poofy jacket (laughs) oh yep yep I do recall that it was either you had to have your face painted so people could like see what like get the gist (laughs) of what your costume was and I used to get so mad because I was like no one's gonna see my costume it's under my snowsuit (laughs) I seem like wearing snow pants I don't know why I just had something against snow pants I know there was one year that I refused to wear snow pants and I immediately regretted it because we went <laughs> trick-or-treating and I had like you know you had like the snotsicles running down your Ooh. face and like your whole face is just like in pain from the cold and I was like <laughs> I had what was it the one year I dressed up as like a werewolf but again poofy jacket and I had like yep. a rubber Halloween mask and I like scared this kid I felt really bad Aww. like I didn't mean to but I was just walking around and he just saw me and he just fucking ran to the park i was like i'm so sorry (laughs) so then the next year i was like i'll dress up as something not as scary so i decided to dress up as santa claus (laughs) not sure my train of logic was there but i was like okay cool and i had this like red snow jacket so i was like this Mm -hmm. is perfect but then i had all these old guys being like hey santa how are the flames doing and i'm like what the fuck are they talking about (laughs) not realizing like the jacket my snow jacket (laughs) i was wearing was a flames jacket oh (laughs) It took me so long to like connect the dots because I was like, oh, it's red. We're good. (laughs) Hey, Sam. How are the flames doing? I, oh my god, I was just like funny. real confused, and I would just respond back like, "Yeah, we're gonna do great this year." I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> yeah, you're like, "Oh, oh, oh Merry Christmas!" Yeah, pretty much. I was like, "Oh my god, fuck off!" Just give me some candy. <laughs> just give me what I asked for. Candy. <laughs> I remember there was one year my sister and I we uh, we always decorate our front lawn uh, to make it look like a grave site and everything. Mm-hmm. But there was one year that we decided to dress up and like lay on the lawn or like sit in a lawn chair and just like not move and then when trick-or-treaters would come up we'd scare them nice and, oh man it, it, they started to get too smart after a while because mm-hmm. there was the odd few that were like there's a person in there and they'd come up and like try to like kick you or like hit you and we'd be like Wah! and like run after them and they're like ah! <laughs> yeah i think the hard thing with that because we had one of our neighbors do that as well i think the first time always the best time but i think a lot because a lot of people did it it was yeah. easier to be like oh yeah there's probably a person yeah even though even like when years pass you know and there's like you know i think there's bigger and better decorations if you want to spend the money on it mm-hmm. and some yeah. of them move on their own right but even those ones i was like yep yeah, there's probably a human inside oh my Can't god it blows too careful Right? It blows my mind some of the decorations they have nowadays. Like if you go to like the Halloween stores or that's oh, yeah. like what's it called? The spirit of Halloween store mm-hmm, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, okay, last year we went there. There was like a ten foot tall Frankenstein. I'm like, <laughs> who has the space to store this first of all? Where do you put it when you put it outside? Mm-hmm. Like 
good lord like it was amazing but i was like man and there's like like the the pennywise ones there's like michael myers there's like all these crazy decorations i'm like i just want to know the one person who actually buys all of them at once yeah. and puts them all on their lawn <laughs> like that would be an amazing house <laughs> Right. Or the ones where it's like, oh my god, like a little demon girl. Oh, yeah. But still like four feet tall, but the hair is covering or something. And then like, I don't know, it like kind of pulls apart and it's like, Bleh! and you're like, yeah. what the shit? Then you have to wonder, like the people who had to come up with the idea for these decorations, it's like, are you okay? <laughs> Do you need a hug? <laughs> I'm not gonna give you a hug if you make up that twist of gun of things, mm -mm -mm -mm. right? Like the the one that always disturbs me the most is the like the electric electric chair guy. He's Ooh. got like a bag over his head and he's sitting in the electric chair and like just the shit he says about. and he's like, Blah! I'm like, Ugh. like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah, a little disturbing. It's really funny, interest or not funny. Sorry, it's interesting to me that there's like so many who have such like an an affinity for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, to me, the magic kind of runs out when apparently you can't go and beg for candy at people's doors because you're <laughs> too old, apparently. Yeah. So, I don't know. I always find it interesting how they're like, Halloween's the best. And I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like it loses its magic once that happens. Mm. You know? But maybe it's because there's the aspect they're like, I can get party and get drunk. And I'm like, mm, not a super huge fan of being in a crowded room with people who I cannot see your face because now you've covered it up with a mask so yeah hard pass <laughs> that's fair and you're not much of a scary movie fan either so you wouldn't be it's watching all the right? scary movies it's funny how it's like oh i don't like scary movies and yet we've like written and made a bunch of scary content <laughs> And even like we were kind of brainstorming like ideas for Halloween, like I and I have a couple and the thing, mm -hmm. but there's still movies. I'm like, nope, not touching another ten foot pole. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's a different scenario when when you're like thinking and like creating the story yourself mm -hmm. compared to being the one who's being scared because you don't know what to expect. Whereas yeah. when you're doing the creating, you you are in control. You're the one who can do the scaring. So it's like, -ha -ha. yes. <laughs> but of course, this Halloween, I'm finally, I'm I'm still, I'm really hoping it doesn't get pushed back, but. There's a game I think we've talked about before, but Little Hope comes out October 30th. Yeah. And I'm just so pumped for that. That'd Me be a too. thing where I, I'd be like, okay, let's have a couple friends over and we're going to play yes. this game. Yes. I'm looking forward to Little Hope. So I'm really, it's been pushed back. I think this is the third time it's been pushed back. Is it? Yeah. Because originally I think it was supposed to come out in the summer, like June-ish. And then it got pushed to August, and then it got mm. pushed again till Halloween. Yeah. So I feel like this time around it won't get pushed back, but fingers crossed. It's all about yep. the witch trials, and I'm super excited. Me too. It's going to be awesome. I love those games. You're going to buy it, right? So we can play together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. That'd be like the one thing it's like if we actually knew what we were doing. Like, we could stream this, but I don't know how anything works. <laughs> well, Kathy has her streaming account. So I, I don't know how many people can play online together. Um, Just judging on the last game, it was only two people. Oh, okay. And honestly, that was probably good enough because I don't know what it was, but that game constantly crashed on me and my friend all the time yeah we got to the certain point where like no matter what we did it would just like crash there was mm. like no chance in hell so Darn. that's what i'm hoping for this time around i know they said all those aspects of like movie night uh single player and online co-op are gonna be mm -hmm. back so i'm hoping they're gonna tweak some online stuff when mm -hmm. we played i don't think we had any i think we had one time the game stopped and i think that was it and it was near the end i think you're right because i think really the only main issue we had was it took like forever for me to download oh it. my god hi Kendra, <laughs> i'm gonna send you this cool demo code because you know the game devs are like hey play with a friend who doesn't have it and we're like yeah cool we try to set this up we're like we'll set it up at seven at one eternity later <laughs> well because like i think you had texted me before we were going to start playing being like hey um should there be anything i do i was like yeah download the demo and you're like okay you're like oh shit it's gonna take a hot minute i was like that's okay and then when i tried to send you the code then it was like oh yeah now we have to download the entire game on your end mm -hmm. you know whatever 40 or 20 ass gigs it is and you're just like what the hell yeah it was a little ridiculous <laughs> but once we got it going it was great so yeah if you choose to I, buy this time we won't have this problem <laughs> well yes i will definitely have to buy it this time because I, I know like because kathy uh she streamed the man of Madon on her Twitch account. Did she? Yeah. Those, those little videos aren't probably up there though. 
anymore. Oh, well, she probably still has it, maybe? I'm not too sure. I'm not how... I if it is, I'm going to watch, because honestly, like, I just love it. Yeah, but yeah, like I was going to say, she could... I'm sure... I, honestly, once it comes out, I'm sure she'll stream it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't see it, but that's okay. So I guess we all we'd really need to do is get a Twitch account to stream, but do you have to pay for that? Um, No, I have a Twitch account... And that's to watch people. So mm. I'm assuming not. I think it's more just like, because you need obviously a way to stream. So you need yes. a way to project it. And I think for a lot of people, it's easier to play the game on PC. Whereas mm. I like to play PS4. I know that's not out of the question. I know there's some people who stream Nintendo games and like PS4 and Xbox and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's not unheard of, but I think you have to I mean, I'm guessing, I think you have to buy something so it connects to your computer so you can stream off of it and yada, 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 yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called doing actual research and trying to figure that shit out. And I don't have time for that nonsense. <laughs> I always wonder if I could be like a really funny game creator and or streamer now. I feel like you, you know? could be just because I'll be honest, you playing with, like having you play with us <laughs> on, oh, please don't die. I'm not dying yet. <laughs> Having you play with us, like doing Fall Guys and doing Dead by Daylight, it's been so much more enjoyable than before. <laughs> and that's no offense to like anybody else. It's just that it, it's nice to have that extra like perspective too. And you're you're just a naturally funny person. So like you're really good Aww. at like just like, you know, in the moment, really good at improvising things. Like so the it makes entire it really backstory entertaining. I made for Old Man Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> Because sometimes too, like before we, when we would play, we just get like really, really focused into the game. Mm -hmm. And then so nobody would talk or it would just be like, we'd shout directions at each other. It yeah. wouldn't like, we wouldn't really have much of a dialogue going on. Right. So yeah, it's been fun. Oh, I have fun playing with you guys too. Yeah. So I think you would totally be a cool, you'd be, a, you'd be an entertaining streamer. Oh, thank you. I was actually talking to somebody at work about kind of like that like playing games with like certain people and like how the dynamic kind of works sometimes because mm -hmm. there are some people like they like playing video games but like they only like playing if they win yeah which i think is unfortunately a very bad way to approach gaming but yeah. i mean if that's what you want to do i mean that's cool and i mean on one level i understand because you obviously don't play because you're like i really hope i get last place <laughs> You know, you are playing to get better and to be, you know, number one. Yeah. But like, you need to be having fun in the process. Like, again, exactly. I think I've won Fall Guys once on a flute. Yeah. By a pure flute, you know, but I just enjoy playing the games. Right. And I think that's why, like, I've never been a fan of the Call of Duty games or really anything like that. Uh, I like the story based ones like Uncharted and like Tomb Raider were mm -hmm. fun. But like being able to play games with friends where there's that dialogue, but also everybody's not in it to win it kind of thing yeah. like we obviously like you like to get the achievements and yeah. stuff like that but you know we're not all like we have to do this and if we don't then you're off the team kind of thing <laughs> like we're like we're not bossy we're not shouting directions at each other we're mm -hmm. just like hey we're playing as a team if shit happens shit happens because it's a game like yeah <laughs> you know if you die you come back to life again it's fine right not like real life where you die forever <laughs> And that got dark real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it does just suck when you're like, well, if you're not having fun, what is the point? Because yeah. I do view gaming for me personally as a form of escapism. Yeah. You know, so unless I'm, if I'm not having fun, why am I now wasting hours doing this when I could be doing something else, you know? Exactly. Right. Yeah. And so for, yeah, like for me, it's I video gaming because I really only play video games with you guys it's just mm -hmm. an excuse to be able to talk to you guys and hang out with you guys and especially during the pandemic when we can't really always be mm -hmm. you know together and and being that you and i live in different cities it's an, another you know reason for us to be able to hang out right. on the regular without needing to be there in person right and it's fucking right yeah oh have you had that happen in dead by daylight yet where people just disconnect no Oh, we've had that happen so many oh, times. That's rude. People just get, it's like they either want the game to end because it's not going their way or maybe mm. they just need to leave or whatever, but it's just really, right. really, it, it sucks when they just disconnect and it's like, well, you know, don't be such a sourpuss. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I had, when I was playing by myself, one game disconnect, but it was very early on. Like we hadn't even started the match. Mm. And I think there must've been a bad connection because there was one player that just didn't end up pressing accept. So I don't know mm. if there was just issues on their end or whatever the issue. Yeah. But it wasn't like anything like, oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I was <laughs> like, okay, cool, whatever. We'll just move on. Yeah. My favorites too. Like I, I find I don't get it as much, but like when we first started playing, it was always so funny when there'd be like, 
people who are like the hardcore gamers or whatever playing mm-hmm. with you and like for me because obviously I'm not a huge gamer I'm just <laughs> playing for fun so if I screw up on something it's literally just because I'm like ah hey, hey I'm having fun I don't care like I don't have skills and they'll message me afterwards and be like why the hell did you do that really yeah and I'm like buddy it's a game like yo I have not gotten any of those I should check my messages I haven't gotten oh zero. man like there was there was one time and this was like I was like just freshly playing the game with Alana and she was teaching me how to do everything and so I hadn't quite like gotten mm-hmm. the whole gist of like you know avoiding the killer and how you don't always need to run and like you can mm-hmm. you know kind of dodge this way and that and so I was running and I accidentally ran like into another player oh classic yeah and of course the killer like went and like downed the other player and I got away (laughs) and so (laughs) again that was like pure fluke and I got like such a like intense message from this guy he's just staring at me and being like why did you do that why'd you lead him to me and like I'm like man what a salty motherfucker (laughs) right So that's why, like, whenever we play now, usually after the match, I'm sure you've heard Kathy and Alana say it too, but, like, we'll check to see the ranks of the people that play. Mm -hmm. And usually we can gauge by their ranks, like, if they're a newbie or, like, why they're playing the way they're playing. Mm -hmm. And then we feel bad sometimes if it's, like, a newbie killer, because then we're like, ooh, (laughs) we, like, really slaughtered him. (laughs) Right? And it's like, destruction. (laughs) Delicious. No, so far my experiences have been pretty positive, although I almost want to get a salty message now. <laughs> Just to see, you know. Part part of me feels like people don't like care as much Maybe. anymore. I think everybody who's playing now is just kind of like playing it for the fun of it. It's not mm-hmm. such a huge deal anymore. If anyone wants to send me a salty ass message, please do. <laughs> I will honestly just take that and put it in my diary and i'll keep it forever keep it so <laughs> close to my heart it'll fuel my rage <laughs> not really a super great segue but <laughs> i finally went to the movie theater for the first time in a hundred years to actually watch a movie Aww. crazy and i saw that movie tenant or tent or tenant however you want to call it tenant <laughs> i think T- tenant 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 the christopher nolan movie the new yeah. one <laughs> And I gotta say, it was pretty fucking cool. Nice. I, not, I don't. It's not really a big spoiler, but it does have to do with time travel. <gasps> I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> it was funny because, like, I remember the first couple trailers like made zero sense. Yeah. It was just him walking against the glass, and then there was one I think where he has the air mask on. And it's like, damn it yeah and i was like this doesn't make any sense but then like the way i was looking at i was like okay it has to do with something with time travel because it's spelt the same forwards and backwards you know i remember i was saying that to somebody at work and they were like you gauge that from the poster and i was like i mean it's a guess I'm fucking right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty smart. I love my cookie. I love my cookie. Because <laughs> mostly I heard everybody talking about it and how they were like, oh, it's so mind bending. It's amazing. Oh, ah, ah, ah. You know. And like we said before, sometimes when people do that, you're just like, I don't want to watch it. But I figured, what time to watch a movie during a pandemic when there's probably almost no one going to the movies? Yeah. Cha ching. I definitely recommend going. I think definitely it's a movie you want to see in theaters. Oh, yeah. Because again, with Christopher Nolan's style of being like, I don't believe in green screening. Fuck those guys. <laughs> and doing everything like kind of in camera effects. I mean, I think he does do like wires and stuff. So they have to obviously like rotoscope that shit out. But yeah. like still, it, it, it still feels like an organic performance. And you're like, wow, this was really fucking cool. Nice. And I know we've kind of talked about this before being like, it's hard sometimes to watch movies and not try to dissect everything that's happening. Yeah. But I feel like I I don't know what it is maybe it's just the, the theme of the film or just how it was shot it was really fun actually doing that aspect so i still very much enjoyed it nice i do gotta say this movie does not hold your hand though the dialogue scenes are so fucking fast like they are just like boom 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 you barely have a moment to breathe with the dialogue so really do not nod off <laughs> that All is right. for sure do try you to miss like, something <laughs> yes and i felt it was really funny because I don't want to spoil anything for people who want to see it because I think it's a great movie to see. But like halfway through, kind of the big part of the plot really starts gearing up. And I was like, oh my God, I have to pee. (laughs) And so I'm sitting here and I'm trying to focus, but I'm like, holy Lord, I don't want to piss myself in a movie theater. (laughs) But I was holding it in, clutching it, clutching it. And I made it to the end and I was like, oh my goodness. (laughs) And so I was talking to my friend and I was like, yeah, man, I've had to pee since like the big, like this part. And I'm just like, (laughs) oh no and my friend looked at me goes honestly i'm in the same boat like literally he's like i 
I had to pee the whole time too. And I was like, oh my. <laughs> but we didn't want to leave because I felt like if we left, we definitely would have fucking missed something. Right. So I just sat that there. It reminds clenched. me of, I, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but I used to have it. But it was like this app that you could get that if you like, it, you set it up. So you like logged in the movie that you're going to see mm -hmm. the time. And like, I think you could like either hit like a button for it to start or whatever or it was just basically it told you when to go pee during the movie really yeah so it would tell you like which parts were the most like unimportant parts of the movie so that you could like still gauge what's going on you wouldn't miss anything and on top of it too i know it's, it's ridiculous but it's like also brilliant because at the same time too like it'll say now's a good time to go pee and then you go and it'll like describe what's happening in the movie at that time so that you're still not missing anything but it's just like basically this is what's going on at this oh point right God. now and then it'll tell you like you better hurry up and finish because you're gonna be missing something yeah it's like it was i can't remember what it was called but i was like it was such a brilliant idea that's unfucking believable right i mean i'm sure movie makers <laughs> probably don't appreciate it but like in a way it's it's, that's kind of an ingenious idea right well you know what if they don't want to get mad then like the movie theater should stop <laughs> selling so huge of cups to drink because people suck that shit back right before and then mm -hmm. and then you, you have like 20 minutes of trailers to watch beforehand so by the time the mm -hmm. movie actually starts you've sucked back your drink you've inhaled all your food and then you have to pee <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. They do it on purpose. It's just the way it works. It's really good. I guess my last thoughts on Tenet, though, I thought it was great. Nice. It's definitely a movie worth seeing again. I know some people were like, ah, it's so mind bending. You have to watch it multiple times. I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, it was kind of straightforward. It, it's not super hard not to follow. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, whatever. I, it's definitely one I would say watch again, even twice, just because it's one of those movies. I think it, it rewards you. It has really great foreshadowing. And I think in a way it makes you feel kind of smart. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Like if you <laughs> are paying attention, you're like, oh, cool. Things are paying off. And like I said, I unfortunately missed like a little bit at the end, but luckily my friend explained it and I was like, okay, cool. Because at that point I had to pee so fucking badly. <laughs> it was a little ridiculous. My one criticism though is that it was, I don't know if it's just because the volume mix in the theater was weird, but that movie is fucking loud. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like the dialogue then is so quiet that you're just like, what are you saying? Because your <laughs> ears are ringing because the fucking bass line to the last action scene and like try to fucking blow them out of your oh fucking ear God. sockets yeah why do we have to have it that loud it was funny oh we're so turning into old ladies what are we gonna do <laughs> <laughs> right i can't remember who i was talking to they're like oh no the movie's just naturally that loud and i was like i don't know i went to a different theater and like the bass line it was so like the rumbling of it like i could feel it in my chest you know when it's mm. like that loud and yeah. you can just feel it vibrating in your body like it's that kind point, of obnoxiously that's loud yeah i'm like no 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 you don't fucking need that bullshit yeah but yeah i think that's honestly just off only after a first watch is probably my only complaint is the music mix is really fucking weird and loud but yeah go watch it but definitely pay attention and do not eat or drink a whole lot because <laughs> all right noted craving to go pee is ridiculous <laughs> i was actually thinking about it i think i've only ever walked out of two movies to pee in my yeah. whole life one was the Anastasia animated film. <laughs> and it's weird because like every time I watch it, I know what part I left to go pee. Oh, yeah. So like my brain, like I don't know what to do. Like it's like a weird reaction. Like every time I see, like it's like a very small scene too. It's the part where they're on the train mm -hmm. and Rasputin's little green goblin bug clowns are destroying the support system on the train. Yeah, yeah. But every time I see it, it, it sends weird s signals to my brain. Because on one hand, I'm like, oh, I haven't seen this before. But at the same time, it's like, oh, I know this because I would pee. Like, I don't know. Like, it sends yeah, weird yeah. receptors in my brain. And I'm just like, it's new, but not. And it's weird. And hmm. Yeah. I it's think so the only bizarre. movie that I can recall, at least, that I've actually, like, had to walk out on because uh, of an emergency and I never got to see the end of the film was <gasps> The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, no. I've never actually seen the ending of that movie. I'm thinking he just gets arrested and dies or something. I haven't seen something, it, but yeah. that's my guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine score says he. I'm sure that's how it worked. Right. I actually, yes, no. What's today? Tuesday? What's On today? Sunday, I watched Parasite. Finally. Ooh. Yes. The uh, movie that either is like, wow, this is a really great big deal because it's a foreign film that won this picture. Or you're mad because you're like, why didn't Joker win? And you're like, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, 
because we were, we were talking about it, um, and based off all the contenders of, like, the nominees for Best Picture, I am, like, I can see why it won, and mm-hmm. I'm glad it did, because it had, like, all the checks marked for, like, <laughs> the contender, because when you think of all the other ones, I mean, like, Joker was based off of a comic book, mm-hmm. still good, but yes. based off a comic book character, Little Women was a remake, mm-hmm. The Irishman, Martin Scorsese, I mean, you know. That was, I'm sorry, it was long and unnecessary. I, I know, I didn't like it, and, you know, no offense to Martin Scorsese, but, you know, he had his he had his time, he's had his Oscars, he's good, like, and then, like, a few of the other ones, they I weren't all. I actually really liked Marriage Story. Yeah? I actually surprisingly liked it. I, I I haven't seen that one but then there was 1917 and it's like yeah. okay well a war movie usually always wins best picture mm-hmm. so like, i don't know mm-hmm. so this one at least it was a foreign film it was an original idea it was a horror on top of that mm-hmm. and it wasn't like so gory in your face grossness it was just like a good psychological kind of ooh. Mm-hmm. like I, I really enjoyed it i was i was happy that having seen it now i was happy for sure that it won best picture i think it deserved it for sure i'll have to watch yeah because usually my goal is to try to watch every movie for mm-hmm. at least best picture for oscars and i almost never succeed but i think last year i did pretty well who knows maybe this year's oscars i'll do really well because almost nothing came out <laughs> I think you you would actually probably enjoy this just because, like I said, it's not like there's no jump scares. There's mm-hmm. just one scene that's a little like, whoa, like it's a little creepy. Mm-hmm. But um, it's very much more like a kind of crime drama thriller psychological Ooh, yeah. type thing. I'm and down to those. The best part about it is that even though there are subtitles, for the most part, you can get the gist of what's going on just by watching it, which again is another reason why it's... Uh, Glad, or it's good that it's one best picture because that's like great visual storytelling to me. Yeah. If you can still Smart. get what's going on in the story by watching it and not having to read the subtitles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just remember somebody made a post. Man, I wish I could remember the exact words it was using. But basically because there's all these people that are like, oh, it should have or Parsa should have won because it's a foreign film and it doesn't deal with real issues. And they're like, otherwise, like Joker dealt with like mental issues and blah, 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 and all this other stuff about society. And then someone commented and was like, well, if you actually watch Parasite, it actually deals with a lot of that same stuff too. It's true, yeah. So like, maybe you need to watch said film before you make an assumption about it. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I think Joker was great. I also just find it a little weird that when people are like, wow, this is like the not the pinnacle of mental health, but like shines a real light. And I'm like, really? Is this really? Are you really going to fucking sit here and tell me this is the first time a movie has shown mental health on something? Right? Like, I, I, I don't feel like think it's so. An, it's definitely an <laughs> over like, like, And I don't mean this in any, like, it's going to sound weird coming out. Some people might like, you know, get the wrong idea, but it's, it's oh definitely God, an over exaggeration. Yeah. But it is a good depiction for sure. Mm-hmm. To me, I definitely think it was like an intense, like wonderful origin story of the joker i think it was really well told that way but to compare it to parasite um it's definitely more violent Mm -hmm. so i think that might be the only reason why it didn't win is just because of the violence maybe because there's still a little bit of violence in parasite but it's not like too much beating the shit out of somebody and yeah bleed all over your apartment yeah it's a little uh a little more tasteful i guess or maybe not tasteful but just like you know it's it's, it's enough to be like okay yeah but it's not like whoa like Ugh. yeah they only hit the person once on the head like oh, come on super yeah. tasteful or they poisoned them super tasteful <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i'm just excited that there are different movies being shown because obviously that's kind of the goal yeah you know to have other people's voices be shown and all that good stuff and yet we yeah. don't do that and yet we do it's it's a little funny but you know right you know that's what art is is everybody everybody should get the chance to tell their story the way they know how and and mm-hmm. creatively right and this is this is just a crazy thought if you don't like it that's okay right <laughs> Exactly. If you don't like it, you don't have to get up on the high heavens of the highest mountain and like, you know, preach about it. Just be like, eh. And nobody nobody will punish you if you do if you do, you know? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just bringing it back to earlier, like, yeah, I personally don't always like or watch horror movies, but I'm not mm-hmm. going to boycott every single one of them. I know yeah. that it provides certain entertainment for some people. For me, I know that's just not my cup of tea, Mm -hmm. you know, and that is okay. (laughs) Yeah, that's like me with the with the Marvel movies. Like, I understand the, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I I understand why everybody likes them so much. Personally, I don't think all of them are that great. There are a few really good ones. Uh, I find the action is just a little too long for me. 
But you know what? Hey, everybody has their tastes. No, unfortunately with Marvel, you cannot. How dare you? Cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last episode of the podcast forever. Forever. <laughs> and on that note, I guess we'll wrap it up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. If you like what we're doing, we created 20 more of them. So please watch them all. <laughs> Yeah. Go out there, watch movies, be kind to everybody, or at least attempt to. I know it's very difficult. Still be safe during these hard times. Yeah. And watch um, all the content. Watch all the content. And also, too, don't forget to like and uh, share yes. and subscribe mm-hmm. and comment. You know, we like having, we like being able to discuss these things like ourselves on this podcast, but we also like, you know, hearing everybody else's perspectives and then we can have more to talk about in the future. So definitely. I don't think we're ever going to stuff to talk about we never should <laughs> but it's nice to have other perspectives so if people want to you know put their opinions in leave a comment below and let us know what you think <laughs> <laughs> no one could see that but it was a finger gun <laughs> all right cinema peeps you have a great tuesday we'll see you next week goodbye bye monkey monkey, monkey and, and slap, slap. <sighs> Woo.